You know, when we had a falling out, me and Billy, it was like 15 years of not talking to each other. And I uh, went to Sicily and visited uh, my family, my mother's side of the family over there. And on the way back, I said to myself, I'm going to listen to every song we've ever done on the airplane. It was like, oh, my God. We, we were, I guess we were really good. <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> you know? Hell, yes. I mean, was it hard, though? Was it difficult, bittersweet? Because at that point, yeah. you weren't with him anymore. It was kind of... Uh, bittersweet because you know i, I always hated um, um tribute bands like what are you doing you know billy's still alive why are you guys doing this all this, this stuff but when we got inducted into the long island music hall of fame me richie and russell and, along with doug stagmeyer um i had to learn, relearn the songs again and uh so I, I was listening to the tunes and and like going like okay that's pretty good and now so I'm listening to the tunes, and anytime I hear a song on the radio, I go to the studio. I'm in the studio again. So now I'm, I'm, I've got the songs that we're going to play for the Lords of 52nd Street because we're putting the band together again. Yep. And I'm with three of the guys, you know, there's three of us that are together that were together 50 years ago, you know, still joking, still laughing backstage, still doing all the things we did back then. The only one that was missing was the guy that I looked at for 30 years you know, in the studio and live and joked with. And he was my friend. We used to have Thanksgiving dinners together. We used to, you know, all this kind of stuff. That's why at the end, when, when um, I was laying there, I had my knee done. I had a knee replacement on my right, my right leg. And um, I thought to myself, it, it, this, this has gone on too long. We're, we're too old. People around us are dying. You know, we were so close we were closer than brothers you know and we created something that the world embraced i remember telling my friends after i i me and billy uh got together again somebody told me he goes we're so thankful that you guys got together again because it would have been such a waste to think that the music that of our childhood ended with two guys hating each other I mean, which happened so many times with sure. bands, you know. And, but um, yeah, and when I when we got together, he sat on one side of the table, I sat on the other side of the table. We had breakfast together, and we didn't even talk about any of the bad things. We just talked about the great things. And we we talked about guys who were with us that are no longer with us, who was sick, who was you know this. We talked about our, our kids because we have young children, and we also have older children. We talked about all that. And like I say in the book, it was like standing on a bridge and all the, the water of the past was going underneath this bridge. And it was just these two friends standing on the bridge. So happy know. to read that. So yeah. happy to, because there was a quite a while. It was what, 06 when you were no longer his drummer? Yeah, it was 30 years as his drummer. Then 15 years of not 15 years. Of talking to him or, oh. or, you know, dissing each other in interviews. Right, like, right, right. But, you know, you know what it was like? It was like. I don't know if you ever have a girlfriend or something like that, and, and you broke up, and you're really upset about it. And every time you said something mean about her, you, or, or a friend, and you say something mean about them, but in your heart, you're like, going like, why did I say that? You know, I still oh, love this yes. person. Oh, yes. You know? I, I, I give you credit because I know reporters have tried to, people try to find out what exactly happened. You're like, I'm not going to talk about it. And is that difficult? Right. I mean, you, I'm sure you can ask like a million times, well, what happened? All the time. All the time. And I read the Rolling Stone article. They're like, so do, do you want to talk about it? And you're like, no, you know, that's not easy. And you've out of respect for, for, for each other. It's like, we're not going there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, um, the question now is, it's like, well, you guys ever get together again? Of course. And, and, my, and my favorite line that I've ever seen in, in a, a, a video clip of John Lennon, when he's living in New York now and he's walking through the streets and somebody yells out, Hey, John, are the Beatles going to get back together? When are the Beatles getting back together? And John just listens and goes, tomorrow, and just keeps walking. <laughs> <you know? laughs>